The Ministry of Knowledge Economy conducted a survey on the IT convergence ecosystem between July and September to promote IT convergence and secure basic data. The results show an increase in revenue and R&D investments. Let's take a closer look. The Knowledge Economy Ministry survey of the IT convergence ecosystem, which was conducted for the first time last year, showed that local companies are focused on research and development. According to the survey, as investment in IT R&D jumped to 8.6 billion won in 2010, from 5 billion in 2007, the IT convergence workforce expanded to 29.6 people in 2010, from the 25.2 people in 2007 as part of a synergy effect. South Korea's IT convergence market produced 49.7 trillion won in 2011, compared with 38.7 trillion won in 2007. It has increased 11 trillion won in the last four years and is expected to reach 117 trillion won in 2020 by posting a 10% annual growth. As South Korea introduces regulations that require autos and shipyards to be equipped with cutting-edge safety and convenience devices, related IT convergence markets are also seeing an expansion. In addition, as South Korea is regulations and putting up billboards in outdoor places in April, the LED lighting market is expected to see growth in revenue and employment. As the minister reached the conclusion that IT convergence is posting steep growth in various industries, it plans to come up with a second-stage strategy to boost IT convergence by the first half of 2012. More specifically, we will help industries to advance their core technologies, and the sectors related to daily needs that haven't seen IT convergence previously will also begin to see IT convergence. Meanwhile, local companies estimated that South Korea's IT convergence technology stands at around 74.4% of advanced countries, such as the U.S., Japan and Germany, with the remaining technological gap standing at about two years and four months. Specifically, South Korea is competitive in smart TVs or e-learning, but lags behind in aviation and agriculture. The Minister of Knowledge Economy said, based on the latest survey, it will introduce a new system to increase public safety and convenience and improve unnecessary regulations.